Hello again my precious, uh, today is Friday, this is a new video on my channel and we continue talking about Ukrainian language and learning it and I hope you will enjoy my next lesson. Let's start! Neoznaczenie zamennike Indefinite pronouns So, that's our topic for today. Uh, previous time it was indefinite adverbs with a little bit of pronouns and now just pronouns. Let's find out what we can learn from this. Vivchimo novisvo. So let's start with learning some new words. Sto nebut anything. Kto nebut anybody. Koli nebut anytime or like um, anyone. De nebut anywhere. Kudi nebut anywhere. Jak nebut. Anyhow, skilke nebut, um, some amount or any amount. So, and uh, you will ask me what is the difference between these words and uh, these words we learned previous time. So, that ščos, ktos, kovis, des, jakos, čemus, we translated like. Uh, someone, someone, somewhere, somehow and uh, of course we can translate them like anyhow, anything and so on. Um, okay, the difference is that uh, mostly, mostly this we use in uh, uh, like in uh, uh, affirmative sentences. Uh, yeah, we can uh, sometimes uh, use it in questions, but that's not quite uh, often. And uh, these words we can use in questions and in affirmative sentences. Uh, so, like that. Uh, yeah, uh, it is a little bit slight difference like between uh, some and any, when some you can use in uh, affirmative and any in, in uh, uh, questions. So this is the small difference between, but sometimes even Ukrainians just confuse them in sentences and uh, can use them everywhere as they wish. So, but uh, as a major rule, yeah. Uh, these parts uh, we use in uh, uh, in uh, affirmative, and these parts uh, we use in uh, questions mostly, but sometimes can use an affirmative too. Something like that. Uh, we will go uh, to the usage, and uh, uh, I will explain where and how we can use it. Uh, so, uh, some of these uh, pronouns uh, can be uh, changed uh, according to the cases. Only two of them, it's kto nebut, ščo nebut. Others are more like adverbs, they don't change according to cases. I explained that uh, adverbs in Ukraine don't change according to cases and genders. Here, uh, we don't have grammatical genders, uh, thanks God, <laughs> of grammar, but here we have some uh, changes of uh, cases. So, nominative kto nebut, ščo nebut, uh, genitive koho nebut, čoho nebut, uh, dative komu nebut, čemu nebut, uh, accusative koho nebut, ščo nebut, uh, instrumental kim nebut, šim nebut, uh, locative na komu nebut, na čomu nebut, uh, nominative nazivni vidminok, uh, genitive rodovi vidminok, uh, dative davalni vidminok, uh, accusative znahidni vidminok, uh, instrumental orudni vidminok, uh, locative misavi vidminok. So, here are some changes. I have lots of uh, different videos about uh, cases, so you can watch. I have uh, uh, videos about pronouns, I have videos about adverbs, so just watch them. And we are going to continue and to talk about usage of these words. <laughs> 
Приклади вживання. The way we use this. So, uh, as I say, uh, we mostly use them in questions, but sometimes we can use them in uh, affirmative sentences too, and it's okay. So don't just uh, think that it's a huge mistake. Mostly in questions, but it's not actually the uh, it's not actually the axiom. So uh, the main usage of these words is to talk about uh, something, anything that uh, we don't want to know to think exactly, or we don't know exactly what is it, or when is it, or where is it. Okay, uh, so. For example, в дома є щонебудь поїсти? Is anything to eat at home? So here in the question, щонебудь uh, like anything. Uh, and uh, we don't know what do we have to eat at home. So we say щонебудь, anything. Okay, ти замовкнеш коли небудь? Will you shut up someone or anyone <laughs> or sometime or any time or when will you shut up like that? Because we don't know when, so we say, and can it be the time when you will shut up? So something like that. Again, in question. Хто uh, небудь дайте ці людині зброю. So I translated this meme from the uh, John Wick film. Somebody, please get this man a gun. So this is uh, will sound like an Ukrainian. Хто небудь дайте ці людині зброю. So here we use хто небудь, and we can use here хтось, and it's okay. Um, so. Uh, it's an uh, affirmative sentence, but uh, we can use this here. Next, this the nebuts u daleki galaktici. So again, almost to the same meaning, uh, synonymic, uh, somewhere, anywhere in far galaxy. Yeah, so uh, something like that. And again, we can use it in affirmative. Uh, okay, next. Як небудь вже зроби, а потім розберемося. Do it already somehow, and then we will get, uh, we will deal with it. So here again, like affirmative, but uh, uh, it's uh, like якось. We can put here якось вже зроби, and як небудь вже зроби. It's a uh, synonymic there. And uh, the last one. Скільки цукерок тобі дати? Та скільки небудь? How many sweets uh, will I give you? Oh, uh, any amount or some amount, any amount. So like that. So uh, for you, we use this uh, pronouns to, uh, so to uh, identify um, to, to tell about something that we can't identify exactly. The place, the time, the person, <laughs> uh, or something. It's like an analog, something, anything uh, in English. And uh, if, uh, like in English, sometimes native speakers even confuse anything and something in sentences, and it's key. And here we have the same. Uh, we sometimes, uh, mostly, we use these pronouns like щонебудь, хтонебудь, денебудь in questions, mostly, but we can use it in affirmative, and it's okay, it's grammarly c correct, actually. So, but like that. Okay, I hope. Mm, everything is clear for you. So this is the end of our lesson. I hope you have liked it. I hope you've enjoyed it immensely like I have enjoyed doing it. Uh, give this video a huge bump if you like it and subscribe to my channel not to miss any other videos and uh, write in the comment if you don't understand something. I will explain once more and uh, we will see each other next Friday. Bye bye!